quick demo of this video tutorial in this tutorial we are going to create a 3 by 3 picture puzzle game using c sharp windows form application we have a rabbit picture the picture is divided into equal nine slices and we have arranged them in random order in left side we have to swap these images to get the x side right side original image in one minute in order to control this game we have three buttons shuffle pause and quit i hope you will enjoy this tutorial very much hi friends welcome to dotnet mob in this video i will show you how to create a picture puzzle game in c sharp application this is my enjoyment session during creation of tutorial it would be a relief for those who are getting bored with tutorials and lessons. like this video i have uploaded a video on how to create a digital clock in c sharp application you can find the video link in video description without further explanation let's get started first of all if you found this video helpful Please thumbs up this video for more awesome videos like this please subscribe to this channel dot that more this is my visual studio 2030 i have created this game inside windows form application it contains only one form that is form one inside the form i have designed this puzzle game before talking about this application i have to talk about this image here this little cute rabbit yeah by the way it is cute inside the project you can see a folder resources if you expand the folder you can see a lot of images there this one is the original image that you can see the complete image and then i have divided or sliced this image into equal nine parts that you can see here in sequential order up to nine one is this part two is this part three is this much and like that i have ordered or named these images in sequential order other than these images i have an other than these images we have image null it looks like this it is a blank black image and here we have the complete image then you can see the slices of the image now back to the application if you have a specific image for this game you have to slice them into nine equal parts since we have to shuffle them into three by three table that looks like this we are not going to use this resources folder in this application i have added these images into resources of this application as you can see here i have added one to nine slices here then blank image then the original image you can access these images or resources like properties dot resources dot underscore one then underscore two underscore three we have to we have to add a prefix underscore before resource name now let's dig into the application here we have one and only one form let me look into the properties of this form here we have the form title as puzzle game let me change that into picture puzzle game like this and then i have set this start position as center then i have removed this minimize and maximize button from this form then i have set the icon to this little image here as you can see here if you run this application you can see the same image in taskbar also inside the application you can see a group box it is named as gb puzzle box inside the group box we have nine picture boxes all of them arranged in a three by three table order first one is pbx1 then pbx2 pbx3 up to pbx9 I have used pbx as a prefix for this uh, picture box naming then we have a label to show number of moves that is made so far then we have a group box to show the original image or the target of this puzzle game then we have a label lbl time elapsed it will show the time taken for this application let me initialize this label zero zero colon zero zero colon zero zero that's it then we have three buttons here shuffle pause quit 
shuffle button is used to shuffle the slices then we have a pause button to stop this timer and it will hide this picture box then finally we have a quit button to exit this game now let's discuss about the c sharp code behind this application for that right click then click on view code here we have declared two integer variables i and null slice index i and moves i use i n as a prefix for integer variables i n null slice is used to store the index of picture box where null image is shown or blank image is shown so in this case null slice index will be 1 0 1 then we have in moves variable to store the number of moves that we have made so far initialized it with 0 then we have a list of bitmap as lst original picture list then we have created an object of timer here you can see the constructor of the form a forum puzzle game inside the constructor it invokes the method initialize component you can see this function in any windows form application it is used to initialize the form components here we added all the pictures into the original picture list from resource file as i told you here we have added all the images of application into resources and we can access these images like properties dot resources dot underscore the name of these resources so here we have added nine picture slices in the original order one two three up to nine finally we have added the blank image here here we initialize the label lbl moves made that is this label then we have initialized this timer display that you can see here next i am going to describe this function check win this one it will return true when the puzzle state is in win state otherwise it will return false inside the function it we have declared int i variable it is a iterator variable for this for loop it will start from zero and it will increment it up to seven when i is equal to eight it will go out of this for loop inside the for loop here you can see it will uh, match with this picture box image before that you have to understand that gb puzzle box is the group box inside the group box we have added all of the nine picture boxes and all of these picture boxes are added as a control for this group box that you can see inside the form design file here you can see that all of the pictures all of the picture boxes are added as a control into this picture box and it is added into the sequential order pbx1 pbx2 up to pbx9 so here it will match first picture box image with the first picture in the original picture list that we have initialized before and it will match second picture box image with the second image in the original picture if there is any mismatch found it will break this for loop and it will come out of this for loop if i is equal to 8 that means all of the all of the first eight picture boxes that is zero to seven picture boxes matches with the original picture list so that means it is a win state otherwise it is a false state let me describe this function with the original game ui so here we have the game here we have the uh, nine pictures and its index start from zero one two three four five six seven eight so inside this function it will match with the first picture box image with the first picture inside the original picture this original picture image part is the inside this original picture list and it will match with this second one with the second image inside this picture list so it will match up to this picture box this 0 to 7 picture boxes that means in total 8 picture boxes we don't want to match with this last picture box because 
when win state comes this blank picture will come here we don't want to match that with the original picture if these eight first picture boxes match with original picture that means zero to seven picture boxes match with this original picture we can we can say that it is a win state okay next we have form load event here form load event is triggered when a form is opened or loaded inside the event we have called the function shuffle here you can see the definition of the shuffle function inside the function we are going to shuffle these image slices actually we have divided the original picture into nine slices equal nine slices so we have 10 total picture including this blank picture for the shuffle purpose we will remove this last picture this portion here so without the last picture we have nine pictures so we are going to arrange these nine picture in random order in these nine picture boxes that is what we are going to do in this shuffle function we have a do while loop here inside the loop here we have declared int j variable then we have integer list named as indexes it is initialized with 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 here 8 is skipped because 8 is the index of the last picture in the original picture list as you can see here here we have initialized the original picture with 9 picture slices and one blank picture so 8 is the index of last picture so we have remove that uh, index from here so we are going to select a random number from this list that's why we removed the last picture index then we have a random class object here random class is used to select a random number from a given collection then we have a for loop here i is the iterator variable it will start from zero and increment up to eight so in total it has nine iterations here you can see that r dot next function so this is a function inside the random class if you hover on this function you can see that it returns a random number within a specific range mean value and max value should be passed so in this case in the first iteration we will pass zero comma indexes dot count so in this case number of items inside the list will be nine so it will select a random number within this range zero to nine that means without nine it will select zero one two three four five six seven up to eight max value won't be the in selected number okay so zero to eight it will select a value from 0 to 8 using that index it will select corresponding value from this list and that value will be stored inside this j variable and we will remove that value from this list and we will use that value as index to select random picture for corresponding picture box here suppose if the random value is 8 it is going to select this value okay so j will be 9 in this case and we will remove that 9 from this list and we will assign first picture box image as null picture because ninth index image is null picture if j is equal to 9 it will store corresponding picture box index inside this variable in null slice index in total we will iterate this loop nine times so in each of the iteration we will select a picture for corresponding picture box first iteration will select a random picture for first picture box second iteration will select a random picture for second picture box and so on finally we will check if it is a win state or not even though we have selected these images in random order there might be a two percentage chance 
to win state so if it is a win state after shuffling these images it will do the process again now let me run this application for that you can click on the start button otherwise you can use the shortcut f5 in the form load event image slices are already shuffled if you want to shuffle it again you can click on this shuffle button here we have called shuffle function inside this button click event if you check the button click event of this button you can see that first of all we have declared an object of dialog result as yes or no then it will check whether timer is started or not as you can see here timer is not started yet it will start counting when we start swapping these images here you can see that timer is started now so first of all it will check whether timer is started or not if timer is already started it will ask a confirmation message like this are you sure to restart corresponding response will be saved inside this dialog result object yes or no if it is yes or timer is not started yet it will invoke the function shuffle then it will reset the properties into initial state first of all it will reset the timer then it will update the labels lbl time elapsed and lbl moves made to initial state and it will update this in moves variable to zero now let's talk about image swapping in this game when we open this game it won't start the timer we have to click any of this image here if i click here it will start the timer if i click here or here or here it won't swap any images we have to click on blank image neighbors so if the blank image here it has four neighbors two three four so we have to click any of this neighbor if blank image is here it got one two three if blank image is here it has two neighbors so we have to click on blank image neighbors in order to make a swap so now let's check how we have done this in c sharp code here we have a click event switch picture box this event is linked with all of these nine picture boxes here if you click any one of this picture box here it will trigger this event inside the event we will check whether timer has started or not if it is not started it will start the timer here from this line it will store current picture box index into this variable in picture box index if indices of current picture box and null picture box are different it will do this much operations if they are same we don't have to do anything first of all we have declared integer list four brothers here inside the list we will store indices of four neighbors according to the current picture box i can show you that here in this game so let me open the game ui here let me mark indices of this picture box 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 if current picture box is this one that is picture box with index 4 i can say that picture box with indices 1 3 7 5 are the neighbors for this picture box by mathematics i can say that if i reduce one from this current picture box index i will get the left neighbor if i reduce three from the current index i will get the upper neighbor if i add one to the current index i will get the right side neighbor if i add three to the current index i will get the bottom neighbor so that is what we have done here first of all we will select the rightmost neighbor here by reducing one from the current index if current index modulus 3 is equal to 0 that means current picture box in the leftmost side so we will set the left neighbor as minus 1 
and in order to get the upper neighbor we will reduce 3 from the current index and then we will find the rightmost neighbor by adding 1 to the current index at the same time it will check modulus of 3 is equal to 2 or not if it is equal to 2 it means current picture box in the rightmost side so we will set it as minus 1 otherwise we will add 1 to the current index in order to find the bottom neighbor we will add 3 into the current index if current picture box and blank picture box are neighbors we can swap the images so that is what we have done here we will set current picture box image into blank picture box image and then we will set blank picture into current picture box and we will update null slice index here and we will update the number of moves made and we will check if it is a win state or not if it is a win state we will stop the timer if win state comes blank picture will take this place and we have to replace that blank picture with the last picture slice of the original picture that is what we have done here and finally with this message box we will show the congratulation message and we will show total time elapsed and number of moves made if we click ok for this message box it will reset the properties into initial state and finally it will shuffle these images for the next try now let's talk about timer in this application in this application we have a timer and it will update this label to show time elapsed if you look into the form design you can see the timer here its name is tmr time elapsed and it has an interval 900 milliseconds so in each 900 milliseconds it will trigger this tick event inside the event it will update this label this label right here and then it will enable or disable post button if game is not started yet it will disable the post button otherwise it will enable the post button here you can see the game over condition if user takes one minute we will say that game is over first of all it will reset the form properties to initial state and then it will show the message time is up try again finally it will shuffle the image slices for the next try if you open this game you can see that this post button is in disabled state if you start this game it will enable this button while playing this game if you click on this post button it will stop the timer and it will it will hide the group box here let me look into this post button click event here if post button text is equal to post we will stop timer and we will hide do box and we will set the post button text to resume in the else part we will start the timer and we will show the group box and then finally we will set post button text back to post finally we have a quit button inside the event we will call another event ask permission before quit and we will pass this button sender as the parameter so here you can see the event ask permission before quit so this same event is called during the form closing event that you can see here during the form close event the same event is called inside the event we will ask for confirmation whether you want to quit this game or not corresponding yes or no result will be saved inside the dialog box result object yes or no this line will close this application if this event is triggered from this form closing event and this line will close this application if the event is called from the button click event that means using this button if you found this video helpful please be subscribed to this channel dot net more please support this video by liking and sharing this video with your friends and colleagues and don't forget to comment your feedbacks in the comment box below. Have a nice day. Bye.